Welcome back to the podcast, guys. Hope you're doing well out there. I'm your host, Rod, as always. And in this video, we're going to be doing an update on Rudy Giuliani's latest legal problems. I haven't discussed this, guys, since the end of his trial where he lost to uh, Seamus and Freeman in that civil defamation case that they brought against him in D.C. And he lost the trial. He was hit with $148 million, if memory recalls. Uh, but nevertheless, Rudolphus Julianus is uh, marching forward, defaming them, has defamed them even after being found liable in that case and being hit by the jury with uh, almost $150 million. It did not serve as a deterrence, apparently. The lawyers for the uh, women have filed... Uh, a legal complaint in bankruptcy court asking for an injunction. It's not technically a new lawsuit because it's piggybacking off the other lawsuits. The media has covered it as a new lawsuit. It's not technically a new lawsuit. It's a bankruptcy claim. Uh, it's a weird uh, claim to file in bankruptcy court, but nevertheless, technically it is possible to ask for an injunction there. It is a federal court. And so they have... Uh, uh, they have the jurisdiction to do that. But nevertheless, it's a little bit weird, though. But anyways, it's a new legal claim uh, related to the to the both the trial and the case there where he was found liable by the judge because he refused to comply with discovery. Uh, but nevertheless, he lost that trial. So that's already settled. And that this new claim is based on that. It's piggybacking off that because it has to do with what he was found liable for. OK, one would think that after you hit with almost one hundred and fifty million dollars that you would stop doing the acts that led to that conclusion. But no, Rudy Giuliani is marching forward undeterred. And his defamatory actions have also gotten him fired uh, from his job. So we're going to cover all of that right now. It's legal and it's also economical because economic, I should say, uh, because he's been fired by the only guy who's been willing to give him a job in a mainstream type of radio station. WABC has suspended him and, and canceled his show because of the fact that he refuses to stop uh, making a, a, a false election claim claims on their uh, airwaves because this guy over here, uh, this Republican billionaire who has given him the opportunity to have his show there after it's been canceled in many other places, uh, John Katzmatitis, uh, whatever this, you know, some, it seems like a Greek name. But anyways, this guy, John over here, um, he gave him a chance to have a show there. Now he has suspended the show because after multiple warnings, he refused to comply with telling the truth and stop lying about these women who have now sued him again. Now, of course, John is doing this because he doesn't want to be sued like Fox News got sued by uh, Dominion for false election claims because you're providing a platform on WAC for uh, WABC, excuse me, for Giuliani to spread these lies. So technically, you can be sued as the person who's distributing this def defamatory uh, content to the Internet. OK, to I think it's a nationally syndicated show that he has there. So it's going out to the entire country and other countries. So uh, so John over here and his company can be sued if the election workers decide to sue them as well. They, we would have a valid def def defamation claim. OK, so John doesn't want to face that. And that's why he's canceled his show, uh, Rudy Giuliani's show after multiple warnings. So this is what he said. We warned him once. We warned him twice. And I get a text from him last night and I get a text from him this morning that he refuses not to talk about it. He left me no option. I suspended him. So that's what he said. Uh, who knows if he'll be back? We'll have to see. Uh, but if you go to his show now, so I looked at WABC radio shows and his link is still there. So his name is still there on WABC. So if you click on this site. You can you go and you find a 404 error, which there's that well, that means that the uh, website is no longer up. So there's nothing on this page having to do with Giuliani. But as late as last week or a couple of days ago, today's the 12th. So this was back on Thursday or Friday, whatever uh, he was. His show was still there. So these are remnants remnants from the deleted shows uh, because he was doing a radio show every day, basically off there. So there's five, nine, five, eight, five, seven. So these are ghost remnants of what has already been deleted. So after they canceled the show, they canceled the website as well. So as to uh, stop the distribution of this content, because like I said, John is afraid of being sued himself. That that can happen and they would lose that because they're uh, helping spread the lies. So. So that's why they have to be careful as well. And Fox News was sued, as you guys know, and he had they had to pay over seven hundred million dollars to settle with uh, Dominion for those claims because they helped spread them. They didn't fight back against them. Maybe one thing if the host challenged them and said, no, you're not saying the truth. You know, th you're wrong. They didn't challenge them. They, they Maria Bartiromo and and uh, many other people there went along with it. Uh, uh, Lou Dobbs, all the people who were sued. 
Uh, they all went along with it on Fox News. So he's lost his show now, which I'm guessing was one of the significant ways he was making money because he's no longer a lawyer after being suspended from the law. So he, he's lost, I would bet, one of his uh, revenue streams, if not a major one. So he's continuing to destroy his life because of the fact that he doesn't want to stop this. Okay, And of course, Rudy Giuliani wanted to fight back and he encouraged his girlfriend his girlfriend, he has a girlfriend, his girlfriend and his fired co-host, this woman who's already suing him for sexual harassment, by the way, uh, he was uh, encouraging them to sue WABC for uh, for what he claims was a, a hostile work environment. So that's hilarious. A guy who's already being sued for hostile work environment by this very woman is telling her to sue the network for hostile uh, environment because of course he's mad at john here casta whatever and uh and also some other guy he names here pure retaliation but you would expect this uh childish behavior from um from giuliani okay but if it's true they certainly should uh sue i don't know what, about the truthfulness of it i have no idea what wabc is i never did until today until i read about this i didn't even know they existed so i don't really care but if it's true then they certainly should uh sue they should talk to a lawyer these women and see if they have a claim against wac but wabc but giuliani is doing it purely to get back at john for suspending uh, or canceling his show and suspending him as a host from the from this radio station so Keep everything 100%. So Giuliani sued again by election workers that he slandered. Uh, they call it, like I said, it's not a new lawsuit, but everybody's calling it a new lawsuit. It's not a new lawsuit because it it's just piggybacking. It's basically using collateral estoppel, essentially, to, uh, to ask for an injunction for a settled claim. This is an action for injunctive relief to permanently bar Giuliani from continuing his malicious campaign against Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, undeterred by facts, logic, decency, professional discipline, court orders in multiple jurisdictions, a criminal indictment, a multi-million dollar jury verdict, or declaring bankruptcy as a result. Mr. Giuliani has entered year four of intentionally defaming Ms. Freeman and Ms. Moss, repeating the very same lies that plaintiffs engage in fraud during their service as election workers during the 2020 presidential election. Uh, so they go on to explain more, uh, but I'll jump to what's most important. So what, what are the claims, right? What, what are the accusations? Well, they brought, uh, first of all, they brought a defamation per se claim. That's their uh, cause of action. Um, that's the only thing they're really uh, filing here. That's why it's just an individual claim. Um, and it's not a new lawsuit because they're piggybacking off the last jury verdict and they're asking the court to basically shut him up permanently and stop him from lying about these women. So back on starting in January 5th of this year, he did it last year as well, obviously, in 2023. But even after his trial was settled, he kept doing it. So January 5th, uh, he made defamatory statements about them. January 8th, March 25th of 2024, April 11th of 2024, April 13th of 2024, April 30th of 2024. And uh, and it, a lot more in this one in the in the later ones than the uh, than the other ones. So these are examples. He shouldn't even be doing it once after, especially after you lose an election, uh, lose excuse me, lose a um, jury verdict and get hit with 148 million dollars. You should not be uh, repeating uh, those defamatory statements again. But he did it multiple times. This is what they're asking for uh, at the end of the day. Um, plaintiff's prayer for relief is permanently enjoining Mr. Giuliani from repeating the defamatory statements for which he had been held liable in the Freeman litigation. So that's why they're piggybacking off what they've already won. So this is not a new lawsuit. This is a, just a legal motion of in bankruptcy court. And any substantially similar statements pursuant to Federal Rule of Bankruptcy Procedure 7065 and Federal Rules of Civil Procedure 65. And that's basically all they're asking for. They're not even asking for uh, money. OK, um, maybe they might ask for attorney's fees, but this is not about money. This is mainly about s uh, shutting Giuliani up of saying defamatory things. And by the way, does the court have the power to do this? Absolutely. His defamatory claims, which a jury has already a jury and a judge has already adjudicated that way. They are not protected by the First Amendment. So the so the judge here definitely can enjoin Giuliani from making further statements, especially after the fact that he did it even after being found liable in this uh, in the prior uh, Freeman litigation. Judge Sean Lane is the judge in this case in U.S. U.S. Bankruptcy Court in the Southern District of New York, and uh, he will most likely grant what they're asking for because uh, it's a very no brain, no brainer request. So, again, it, all this time he's been destroying his life because he's so I don't know what the reason is. All I can guess is that 
politics has so destroyed his brain to the point where he can't stop himself. Okay, that's the only conclusion I can come to. There's no upside to doing this. Donald Trump doesn't really care about him anymore. He's not going to have a position in his administration as much as he might think he will. Maybe that's it. Maybe he wants to just stick uh, strong for Trump, but he's destroying his personal life and his finances, has already destroyed his finances by the, the election workers are going to get most of his money. He's not going to have any of the riches that he had. He has to sell his multiple properties now and and to participate in the bankruptcy process. And the lawyers for the, uh, the women are, uh, you know, uh, counting up all the beans of all the things that he has. So at so as to let the courts know all of his property and his wealth so that they can start garnering whatever wealth he's ha what he has and uh you know siphoning that to pay that 148 million dollars that he owes to the women okay so he's destroyed his financial life he's destroyed his personal life now he's been fired from a job probably one of the only people who would willing to give him a job in media uh this republican guy john whatever and for what this is what happens when you get politics in the brain, okay? And this happens to people from the left and the right, people who get way too obsessed with politics, mostly in the right that they've destroyed their lives, but there are plenty of partisan hacks on the left as well. Um, but nevertheless, this is why you should never let politics go so far as to destroy your life, okay? he All he has to do is shut the fuck up about the election in 2020, but he can't do it. He won't do it for whatever reason. I don't know why. Okay? I have no idea why. There are many guesses you know, trying to be loyal to Trump, et cetera, or because he actually believes this stuff, which there's no evidence and no reason for him to believe it. But nevertheless, he claims that these women somehow cheated Donald Trump. So it's ridiculous and just mentally defective. I mean, there's no other way to say it, but that's what Giuliani's decided to do. He's decided to ruin his life. And um, what else can you say? Okay, he screwed himself. And that's the bottom line. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell and press all for future videos if you want more fair minded and even handed legal analysis based on the facts and the law. And if you want to support my work directly, you can do so on Patreon over here. Watch my last video over here and I'll see you guys in my next video as always.